happened and when. What was South Alabama doing to kind of take away your momentum? You know, um, South Alabama is a talented team. You know, they play hard. And they uh, went out and executed their game plan well. You know, um, they made some adjustments. You know, it worked for them. And Coach Jones, he talked about the importance of you guys really pushing through and getting the win. How proud are, are the guys on the team just to be able to push through and get this win? You know, um, everybody's real proud of one another. You know, um, you can't say we would have did this, you know, a year or so ago, but, uh, you know, you, you could tell the team is really coming together, you know, uh, ready to fight and compete on these down, no matter what the circumstance is. Do you feel like that's going to give you confidence, the way you guys played in the fourth quarter going forward through the rest of the season? Uh, definitely. You know, um, the whole game is a, is a learning experience, you know, from the first to the fourth quarter. But, you know, the fourth quarter, we came out, we, we fought, you know, we didn't give up when they made a couple plays. You know, things were going south for us. We, we just kept fighting. What was the huddle like in that last sequence? They called a couple of times. Yeah, was, you had to stop. What was kind of the defensive huddle like at that point? You know, uh, surprisingly, nobody really said anything. You know, um, we, he just gave us a call. You know, everybody know the, the, uh, the, what the situation was. We had to get a stop to win the game. So, you know, words really didn't wouldn't have to be spoken. So. We just, we just went out, got the call, and went out and played. How big of a step is it for you guys to, to finish a game like this? Just from a, from a mentality and a growth standpoint that you guys, when, when you had to have a play at the end because you didn't you couldn't do that a couple times a year ago, how big was that to, today for you guys? You know, it showed, it showed that we've matured as a team, you know, uh, that, we're really, that we're willing to fight, you know, um, and overcome things when, when things go bad. We need, we need something done. It shows that we can go out and get it. So, you know, it was a good confidence confidence building experience and you know we just <laughs> happy we came out with the win. Certainly certainly sloppy at times. Coach uh, was talking about undisciplined the penalties, the turnover, those things like that, but still being able to come out with the win. Talk about that as this team continues to try to evolve and evolve and like he said, learn how to win. You know, um Coach Jones is trying to bring, you know, the, the winning back to Tennessee, you know, trying to get this program back to where it was, you know, um and you know, it, it, was, it was just a good experience all together. You know, uh, when things went bad, it was really sloppy. But, you know, those are all things we can fix and we can get better in this week. Tough to make excuses, but how beat up was this team coming off? It had to be tough for you guys, especially in Madeline, coming off two tough road losses like that, the top 25 competition, coming back to face these guys before Georgia comes in next week. You know, um, I wouldn't say it was, it, was, it was too tough. You know, uh, it, it's just a mentality we got to have on, you know, on, on this team. You know, uh, no matter what goes on the week before, we just got to come out here and play. You know, uh, we, we can't use last week or the week before as, as an excuse for how we play. We just got to come out here and get it done. Talk about the job that they were able to do out there, their offense. Their quarterback's a pretty, pretty good-looking kid. Um, talk about having to chase him down and keep up with their offense today. You know, um, our pass rush lanes broke down a couple times. You know, he, he got loose on us. He's just a pretty athletic guy, you know, could run a little bit. So, um, you know, we just got we just got to go back to work on, you know, our pass rush lanes and contain the quarterback in the pocket. Was he a better runner than you thought coming in? No, we knew he could run, you know, but um, we, we we wanted to make him a quarterback, you know, sit in the pocket, you know. He got he got out, he got out a couple times, you know, and, and made a couple big plays. But you know, we just got to come out, and, you know, pretty much fix that. The, the times you're in pass coverage, and he's running around and making a play last seven, eight, nine seconds. How tough is it to stick with the receiver? You know it gets tough because you want to you want to turn back and look with see what he's doing see if he's running you know um, and we can't do that you know until he crosses the ball when he crosses the ball then we can come out of coverage but you know we just got to we got to uh, lock on our lock on our man when we have and, and wait till he crosses the ball then go attack. Can this help you for running quarterbacks down the line? Say that. Can this help you for running court face facing running?